Today I'm going to do, I want my country back zucchini bread. I'm really excited about this one because zucchini bread is, to some might sound a little bit gross, but um, it's really good. It's kind of sweet and cinnamony. It's got a little bit of nutmeg in it. Um, these garden zucchinis, these are Supreme McCook garden zucchinis that I've just cut from my garden. So that's gonna be one of the ingredients. We have all of the basic things, baking powder, baking soda, there's gonna be vanilla, there's gonna be cinnamon, eggs, flour, sugar, um, kind of your basics. Oh my God, there's a fly in here. I'm not putting him in. Um, just to note, during World War I and World War II, people would have victory gardens and we have built one out in front. My husband, John, built like an eight by 10 box. I filled it with really good soil and we planted zucchinis and cucumbers and carrots and romaine lettuce and tomatoes. It's really wonderful. But mainly what they did, it was for rationing during the war so there would be extra food. But the main reason was for morale. And I can think of no other time more important than now to build morale. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, anyway, I'm gonna start this by grating the zucchini and we'll get started in a minute. Okay, we're back again. And now just remember to preheat the oven to 325, which I have and it's set, I'm so prepared. And this is a very important part of starting a recipe. I'm gonna just reach back here and grab a bag of my favorite chips. And I'm gonna dedicate this to Nancy Travis. These are pop chips with sea salt. This is what you need for sustenance when you're baking. Okay. Ugh, you will eat the whole bag. Okay, now the first thing you do in your bowl, large bowl, we're gonna put the grated zucchini, which we've already done. I use it on a large grater, and I may have said this before, some people use something called a mandolin, but I have read so many, so many posts and stories and newspaper articles about people, I mean, bleeding out over using a mandolin because you're doing it and it's so sharp. So I just stuck to the old fashioned grater. So dump that in, okay? Then your next thing, is your avocado oil or you can use canola oil. The point is you want something really mild. So dump that in. I love this, just doing it this way. Now, egg, one, one egg. I should have done it over my shoulder, but I would have lost it. Vanilla extract. This is, I mean, do you remember when you were a kid, your mom cooking with this and you would, and want to taste it? but then it's really gross. So, oh, so good. Okay, that's all together. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of gently whisk this together and I'm gonna whisk in, strangely, you would think this is a whole cup of sugar. So I'm gonna pour this in, a little at a time. And what you wanna do is, obviously the zucchini is gonna stay lumpy you just wanna get this cream together so that it's nice and smooth and everything, all the sugar is dissolved. So that's that. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the flour and put it all in there. I'm just checking here. And what I have to do is put on my glasses because I can't see without my glasses. Don't anybody laugh about these. Mackenzie Child's rocks, right? Okay, sift together the flour, the salt, the cinnamon, the baking soda, the baking powder. These are right here together. Flour, well, I'm just gonna put this right in here. Okay, that's the cinnamon baking powder, baking soda. I have left out baking powder before when I was a kid and the cookies were all one. They don't gel, they don't take form. So this is all pre-done and we're gonna mix this together and I keep checking to make sure I don't screw this up. Oh, important, salt. Put all that in, and this is kosher salt. And every time I do a recipe, I'm gonna tell you, I have changed over to kosher salt because it makes such a big difference. You know, you can do it in cookies, and later I'm gonna do some special cookies, and there's something about kosher salt. It's just, it's 
the chunkier you just taste it and it's really nice i'm going to get a different spoon to do with this mackenzie childs they should send me something for this there we go now here is our bread it's all ready and we're going to put it into a sprayed i use um coconut oil you can use any spray you want just to do the inside of a nice uh, loaf pan dish make sure i don't leave anything on the bottom here transfer the batter okay we're gonna put it in here i should have scraped it out going the other direction so you could see the bowl but then i would drop it and it would be messy and it'd be a comedy show um okay this actually smells really good. It smells like cookies. So it's not going to be a, you know, a dry, uh, a dry, awful bread. It's really going to be moist. You're going to be surprised. Kind of like a, uh, a spice bread. And that's it. There's your, my, I want my country back zucchini bread. Yes. And in the oven for 55 minutes at 325. And we'll see you soon. Okay, here it is. There's our zucchini bread. Here's how we're gonna test it. I'll show you. You wanna just put, and that's clean. You don't get any crumbs on it or anything. That means it's cooked on the inside. It should have a little bounce back when you push on it. So now we're just gonna let it cool before we Find our victims to try it. Yum. Molly McCook is going to be my person. We're gonna cut to a nice What's piece. that? There's green in it. That green would be zucchini. <laughs> okay. We'll see. I'm not the biggest zucchini I fan. I know, but honey, this is gonna be. It smells like oatmeal cookies. It does. It does have that. Remember the cinnamon and that? Woo! Zucchini bread, you feel like it's going to have this, you're going to have this. I want this one. Want that one? Yeah. Should I get you a plate? Now look at that. Yeah, it's pretty. It's really nice. Here, let me get you a fork. And... No, I don't need a fork. You don't need a fork? No, you I eat gonna... bread with my hands. You can eat it. It does smell, that, that all those spices, it literally smells like oatmeal cookies. Those are good? Oh my god! <laughs> you can't even taste the zucchini, which for me is, yeah. is a plus. But you really can't. It tastes like, like pumpkin Ooh. bread or banana bread it's sp with a spice. It does. It's got that... Oh my gosh. It's really good. It has like a cinnamony, um, mm -hmm. not too sweet. Mm -hmm. This you could end up eating a lot of. It's more sweet... A good bake, Mama. Than, uh, it's got texture, too. Uh-huh. Nope. Oh, Don't sorry. eat my teeth. Mine. It's really good. Mm. But try this. This is not a hard thing to bake. Yeah. And if I can make this, you guys can make it.